when I trained uh, in medicine, uh, on my first day as an intern, I was given a list of patients, and I walked in the door to see the first one, and it was a woman who was sitting, eating her breakfast, eating her, cutting her grapefruit, I remember, and the sun was streaming in. We had a nice conversation. Uh, and then I walked out in the hall, and my supervisor saw me, uh, my resident, and said, what have you been doing so far? And I said, well, I just spoke to Mrs. Jones. He said, she's dead. Don't waste your time with the dead. I said, what do you mean she's dead? I just spoke with her. She's dead. Don't waste your time with the dead. And in his mind, she had terminal cancer. She was labeled do not resuscitate. And it wasn't worth my time wasting my time with her. Then he turned to me and said, and besides, something just came down into the ER, and we should go down and take a look. Something, a patient, presumably, a person. And so I began to realize how important it was to look at the underlying human side of medicine, not just the science of what we're doing, but the assumptions we make uh, and the need to pay closer attention to the larger social, psychological, moral, cultural, and ethical issues involved in what we do in healthcare. And the field that looks at that is bioethics. Bioethics is a fairly new field, but it looks at the ethical, legal, social, cultural implications of advances in biotechnology and healthcare. And of course, there are an increasing number of issues in this area that we're all facing every day, whether we're patients, whether we're family members of patients, or whether we are uh, doctors or nurses or other healthcare providers, whether we're voters or taxpayers.